Okay, you can see I've now removed the snap ring that goes around this area here. Okay, I have now removed the collar from up here and then this right here just slid right off. Now we're going to tap this up and remove it. Okay, I have now removed this ring from the post and then I've removed the o-ring that goes there and then there's a seal that goes in here. Mine also had an o-ring so this large one right here is the 229 that goes on the outside. This is the seal. This is not called for, this little ring isn't called for in the parts manual but it was in both sides of my strut and I don't know what size it is so I'm going to reuse it with a, a new seal here. Okay, here's the new seal and you'll actually see that it has it has the little o-ring built right into it. This is the old one where the old ring came out. So I'm going to slide those back into place. Okay, I've slid that seal into place with the uh, seal on top pointing upwards. Inside is the metering pin. I'm going to grab that and pull that whole assembly out and replace the o-ring on that assembly. Here you can see we've pulled the metering pin almost all the way out. We'll replace the o-ring on that in just a second. Okay, you can see I've removed the uh, metering pin assembly and the o-ring on it. I'm going to replace that o-ring. It's a 222 o-ring. Okay, so now I've replaced the o-ring. I'm going to slide this back into place and push her back down in. Okay, now I've put the ring back in place. You want to make sure that this ring is on the bottom and your slip ring is on the, the top inside. Next, we're going to slide this assembly down over the top. Then if you look at this ring, this ring has a uh, chamfer on it. That chamfer goes up. It's put into place. And then we'll put the ring around it. Anyway, it has, uh... Now we've put the O-ring back in place and we're ready to go put it back in the airplane. Okay, what I've done now is with the C-clamp or the hose clamp on the uh, ring I compressed it completely tapped the assembly back up into place and then secured the scissors now I'm going to use a soft aluminum rod to finish tapping this back up into place so that I can then seat these rings in the clip here you can see I'm using a soft aluminum rod and I'm going to be tapping that into place. There. We know how everything seated into place. It moves up and down smoothly. Now it's time to service the strut. We'll put fluid up in here in the top with a hose and then pump this up, up and down several times until we get no more air bubbles coming through our clear hose. And that will give us all of the hydraulic fluid that we need in the strut. Once there's no more air bubbles, then we'll close it off, cinch it down up there. There's a 5 8 nut that closes off the hole. And then we'll put the valve core back in and inflate it with 310 pounds of nitrogen pressure with it off the struts. And that should give us the proper load.